What is up guys, today we're gonna be taking apart my water to air intercooler. We gotta take off this charge pipe, the intercooler itself, and then that heat exchanger. Pass the camera over to my dad. There we go. All right, so I already loosened these clamps. Get a little closer. There we go. So I already loosened the clamps, so it should pop off. So this guy right here is the charge pipe. Obviously you saw, come step a little closer, dad. It was just this piece that goes right here that connects them. So we're done with this guy. Set that off. Now let's get the actual intercooler itself. Man, whoever put this car together really was a hack job. They did more hack stuff than I've ever seen in my life. All right, show me. So this is the intercooler itself. So you can see right here, this is a three inch outlet or inlet, if you will. That's a typical size, but that's a little bit big for you know a stock engine. So then you've got this blow off valve right here. It's a HKS, if you guys know if this is genuine or if it's eBay, that would be great. I'm sure it's probably eBay, but who knows. If it's genuine though, that's a sweet piece right there, HKS. So this is what the whole intercooler itself looks like. This is a pretty beefy one. This is probably good for like a whole 500 horsepower or so. so this is not a bad one at all. I'm definitely gonna keep this or possibly trade it for something. So that's what the water to air intercooler looks like. So you can see that the air just goes right in there and that kind of cools it. And then we've got the brass fittings, of course. That's where the water goes in, but we're gonna be done with that guy. Set it off to the side. And then we've got this whole situation. So what this guy is right here is the old heat exchanger. So this is basically just a radiator. And as you can see, it's got these hoses on the side. And that's where the water goes also as you can see right here this is like the pump that they were using it's just a like a dc electric pump but uh yeah that's pretty much it for this whole setup set this stuff right here let me see the camera real quick just wanted to go over a few things this car is the most hacked car i've ever seen in terms of how they installed it right here you can see this little hole they actually used self tappers to hold this stuff in so it was incredibly painful to pull it off but luckily we got it off now in the next video guys there's a lot of good parts that i want to show you on this turbo kit i thought this manifold right down there it's hard to see but the part that connects to the turbo like where these two bolts are i thought that was an ebay manifold but it's actually not eBay. It's one of a really nice old style manifolds. I'm gonna pull it off and show you guys in the next video, but that's basically how I uninstalled this whole water to air intercooler. It was super simple, basically just unbolting some clamps and stuff, but I hope you guys like today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.